Welcome to an intriguing tale of mystery and exploration. Today, we dive into the captivating story of Sandy Island, a place that once graced the pages of numerous maps but was never found in real life. The saga begins with Australian scientists who set out to solve the enigma surrounding this elusive archipelago. Their mission was not just to seek out the island, but to uncover the truth behind its puzzling existence. However, when they reached the coordinates marked on the maps, all they encountered was an endless expanse of deep blue waves, as if the island were playing an elaborate game of hide-and-seek. The origins of this perplexing tale trace back to the year 1876 when a whaling ship, while crossing the vast and open waters of the Pacific, reported sighting an island in the area. The crew described it as an impressive landmass, measuring over 15 miles in length from north to south and about 3 miles wide, which is roughly the size of Manhattan. Given such dimensions, one might imagine a thriving community or a lush ecosystem existing on this so-called island. Yet, every subsequent expedition aimed at visiting this location found nothing but water and more water. By 1974, the mystery deepened when an official mission from New Caledonia concluded that Sandy Island simply did not exist. The team, equipped with the tools of their time, meticulously analyzed the area and removed it from all maps, declaring it a cartographic ghost. Life continued as normal until 2012, when the island made an unexpected reappearance on Google Earth, manifesting as a mysterious black blob on the digital map. This unexpected resurgence piqued the interest of scientists once more, prompting another expedition to venture into the area for further investigation. On this latest journey, the Australian team set out to find answers and ultimately prepared a eulogy for the long-lost island. They sought to explore what could have led to its existence in the first place and why it had been so persistently elusive. One theory proposed that the mapping technology of the late 1800s was not nearly as precise as we have today, making it easy to confuse a natural formation or even a trick of the light for land. Additionally, the region is known for its significant volcanic activity. It is entirely plausible that a volcanic raft, created by cooled lava, was mistaken for land from a distance, leading the whalers to believe they had discovered an island. As humans have ventured across the globe, exploring every nook and cranny, new discoveries continue to astonish and inspire. One such discovery came when Mount Leo emerged on Google Earth, captivating scientists and adventurers alike. This hidden gem, located in northern Mozambique, is no ordinary rainforest, it is nestled inside the caldera of a volcano. Determined to confirm the existence of this mysterious forest, experts from various fields came together, assembling a team of top-notch scientists and specialists from around the world. However, the journey to Mount Leo was no simple task. The team faced a daunting vertical rock climb that stood between them and the forest they sought. After six long years of meticulous planning and preparation, they were finally ready to tackle the challenge. Upon their arrival, they were greeted by a paradise that exceeded their wildest expectations. The forest was a marvel of nature, resembling a perfectly tended garden, and it was alive with unique sounds and sights. Among the wonders, they encountered enormous caterpillars that appeared both fascinating and dangerous. In addition to the breathtaking scenery, they also uncovered ancient pottery and evidence of an untouched human ecosystem, hinting at a rich history waiting to be explored. This discovery added yet another layer to the narrative of exploration, revealing how much of our world remains hidden and unknown. Now, let's delve into the concept of terra incognita, or unknown land. One of the largest territories being uncovered today is the land that lies beneath the thick ice sheets of Antarctica. Beneath this snowy surface, researchers have discovered an entirely new world filled with canyons, waterways, and lakes that are now being mapped in greater detail. But is there really liquid water lurking beneath Antarctica's frozen exterior? Indeed, there is. 
thanks to the immense pressure exerted by the ice above, water can exist without freezing. This phenomenon is a result of the Earth's warm interior, which creates conditions conducive to the existence of liquid water beneath the surface. One prime example of this hidden water is Lake Vostok, a massive lake that lies beneath two and a half miles of thick ice in East Antarctica. Spanning an astonishing area of approximately 4,800 square miles, Lake Vostok remained hidden from human eyes for centuries. Its discovery was made possible only through advanced technologies, such as seismic soundings and ice-penetrating radars. Scientists estimate that this lake has been trapped beneath the ice for up to 15 million years, creating an isolated ecosystem that may hold secrets about life in extreme conditions. Moving on to Bhutan, this small yet remarkable country is renowned for being the happiest nation in Asia, but it has long concealed a hidden gem. Tucked away in the glorious Himalayan mountains lies one of the world's tallest unclimbed mountains, Kunapanam. This majestic peak has sparked immense excitement within the climbing community. Imagine the thrill of being the first person to ascend an unexplored summit, such an achievement would likely earn you a coveted spot in the Guinness World Records. The mountain's untouched status is largely attributed to local customs and beliefs. In Bhutanese culture, the peak is considered sacred, steeped in mystery and legends. Locals hold a profound belief that the essence of climbing lies not in reaching the summit but in developing a spiritual connection with the mountain, and savoring the journey along the way. This perspective is a refreshing deviation from the typical Western approach, which often emphasizes conquest over communion with nature. If you ever find yourself in the state of New York, make sure to visit the Oglo General Store. This charming establishment is located in the beautiful Catskills region and is part of one of America's most famous paper towns. Paper towns, as you may know, are fictitious places created by mapmakers. In the case of Oglo, it was not a simple mistake but rather a clever strategy. There exists an old copyright practice among mapmakers wherein they include fake towns to identify when someone is copying their work. This practice unexpectedly spiraled out of control when a person stumbled upon a map featuring Oglo and decided to open a store in the non-existent town. This quirky venture inadvertently turned Oglo into a tourist attraction, drawing visitors from all over the country who wanted to capture a photo of the town's fake welcome sign. Next on our journey, we explore the enigmatic Burra Island, which is located in the Gulf of Mexico. This quirky island appeared on various maps during the 16th and 17th centuries, likely sketched by Spanish explorers who documented their findings. While its exact location varied from map to map, Burra Island's existence was well acknowledged until it inexplicably vanished from geographical records. The last sighting of Burra was on a 1921 Mexican map, which raised questions about whether the island had sunk or been destroyed over time. In 2009, three official investigations were launched to locate the island. Researchers employed advanced technologies to scour the Mexican seabed, yet Burra remained elusive. Theories regarding its disappearance abound, with one suggesting that early explorers fabricated the island to mislead their rivals in their pursuit of land and treasure. Shifting our focus to Brazil, we arrive at the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro, where informal territories known as favelas have emerged over the years. These favelas are often underprivileged neighborhoods where residents lack basic urban services, such as sewage systems and garbage collection. They grew rapidly, outpacing the government's ability to monitor their development and establish order. Today, it is typically the residents themselves who name the streets and make do with whatever resources they have at their disposal. One of the largest favelas in Brazil is located in Rio de Janeiro and was only officially recognized as a neighborhood by the local government in the 1990s. Surprisingly, our ocean floor remains less mapped than the surfaces of Venus, Mars, and even the Moon. In fact, a staggering 95% of our oceans remain unexplored, 
which may seem strange given the available technology. While we do possess tools such as sonar soundings, which send wave sounds to the ocean bed to map its features, thorough exploration of the seabed is still ongoing. Enhanced mapping of our ocean floor could provide crucial insights into marine hazards such as earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. Additionally, many unidentified marine species await discovery, and understanding these organisms can significantly contribute to the preservation of marine ecosystems. And that's it for today's exploration of hidden lands and mysterious islands. If you've satisfied your curiosity with this journey, please give the video a like and share it with your friends. If you're eager for more fascinating content, click on these videos and continue to stay on our side.